That garbage bin needs a bit of a clean. I think I'll kill two birds with one stone. Good, does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put the top on. Put this down the Ooh, Tim, it's pretty hot from being out in the sun. That's the choke mechanism there. Get that back into shape a bit. There we go. Open the fuel valve here, see what happens. If anything, probably chuck a block full of oil in that hose there, I'd imagine. Pick up a little bit of a tickle. And there's nothing coming out. Okay, well, looks like, looks like I need a little bit of work. Here. I'm guessing that's a problem. The fuel's coming through. So this hose is uh, clogged up with old oil. We'll have a look. Let's have a look. It is a mighty seagull. There can't be too much wrong with it. Oh, the whole tap's going to decide to come with us. Not for very much longer. Well, that's working all right. Might clean that fuel out as well, I think. Now, I'm not sure if you all know how simple these are to work on, but that's as easy as any carburetor you're ever going to find to get off. So I'll take the bowl off, have a look inside, See what's going on. Just to make sure. Because it's simple and it's easy. Okay, I've got the bowl nut off. So it's the moment of truth. Put the camera down somewhere. See if I can uh, things considered. Give it a bit of a clean up. Get me to put it back on again. So I've reassembled the carb. Hit it with a bit of carb cleaner. Straightened out the choke on it. Not 100 percent but it's a seagull. It's not a space shuttle. So we'll uh, put a bit of fuel on it and see what happens. 
Okay, the moment of truth. I've reassembled, put some fresh fuel in the tank, opening the valve. There we go, we've got some fuel coming out of there. This is a good sign. Okay, well, moment of truth, I guess. I don't think this has been run for about 10 years. Maybe better screw it up slightly. It's got fire, so I'll kill it and I'll put some water in it, check the oil in the gearbox, etc. Let's just see if you'll fire. I have to put the camera down for this. Seagull. Whew. Away there. Oh, that's how simple seagulls are. I don't think that's run for about 10 years. I'll just check the oil in the gearbox and we'll put some water in there and we'll see how we go. That's a bit of old fuel that's burning up, the oil that's in the cylinder. Mighty seagulls. That's how simple they are. Okay, I've added some genuine EP140 oil to the gearbox. Well, that's still had oil in it, which is pretty amazing. After all this time. Ah, people say these motors are no good. But I think they're, they're so simple that um, it's what, what makes them appealing. A lot of them were used through the uh, Pacific Islands for a long time by missionaries and, and others. Mainly because if anything went wrong with them, they could fix them up. Uh, of course people say the gearbox is leak and put oil in the water and all that sort of stuff but you know. I'll fill this up and uh, give her a spin and clean out the bin at the same time. Two for one. No, that should be good. for a recall starter, eh? for the uh, throttle control here. As you can see she's running. Very good. <laughs> 